It's another goal for Mansfield. Another goal for Mansfield. You know what? I don't attempt fate, but I think we're going up. I think there's 11,000 people around us might just be right. As the ball's fed to the halfway line. And works wide and inaccurately, and that kind of sums up Forest Green, doesn't it? They, they have not been competitive. Uh, Neil said, worst team that's been here in the last couple of years. Yeah, I think so. 100% yeah. agree. So Wrexham are now what? A minute plus added time away from securing back-to-back -back promotions for the first time in our history. To come up to League One, as the ref gives a free kick there, Wrexham looked like they were going to nick the ball away. To go up to League One and get promoted with two games to spare, I would argue, is one hell of an achievement. Yeah, I think most fans were, oh, I was expecting us to, you know, just survive in League One, League Two, you know, and, and just find out our feet. But, you know, we, they've far surpassed what I expected them to do. I've got to be honest, I, I hope, I expected us to be maybe play up here. I really did. But having said that, to achieve it is amazing as Marius and Davis are pressing for a screen and they win it back. Now then, Rex have got a chance to burst forwards. Fletcher's dispossessed. That was unlucky. Forrest Green only clear as far as Evans, who <laughs> pings it into the crowd. The most un-George Evans-like touch I've ever seen from him. Yeah. It's just brilliant to take in the atmosphere now. Oh, isn't it just? And even both sides of the temporary cop are now filling with fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. We've been able to bring extra player fans in. Six minutes of added time. Where is that? Well, I guess substitutes. This is a yeah. sub man. Mm -hmm. I mean, sub, I am a sub ref. Yeah. yeah. Is that, did, Jay, did you just say 4 1 to Mansfield? Oh, 4 1 to 1. It's over, people. It's over. We've done this. Oh, yeah. my God. This is fantastic. We Ooh, are in we. League One. We most certainly are. That is inc isn't that incredible. Oh. It's going to be party wow. time at Crew next week as well, I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. Two rather nice parties coming up, eh? Oh, yeah, the Stockport game with both mm. teams promoted is going to be just a celebration of football, I well, think. Well, it's going to be when we win the league. Wow, well, be nice. Don't you worry. As far as screen are building out from the back, what a day. A day of days in Wrexham's history. Mm. Mr. Reynolds, Mr. McElhenney, I'm thank sure you. you're watching. Yeah. Can we just say on behalf of all Wrexham fans, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. As far as screen, get it into Wrexham's box. <laughs> you hear the boy voice. <laughs> Again, it's Evans who clears an extremist. And a poor oh. header allows Fletcher to drive forwards. He's got Marius in support. Fletcher draws men oh, to him and passed. just gets the pass wrong. Yeah. I think he was clipped a little bit from behind. The ref didn't give the foul, probably correctly. He should have released the ball a little bit earlier, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think he had to, didn't he? Yeah. You know what? I can forgive Stephen Fletcher yeah. pretty much anything. But yeah, I, I reiterate what you said, Mark. You know, Rob and Ryan have done so much for this club, this town, and all the new fans we've got out there now. You know, it's yeah. such an achievement. It's just well, wonderful to be part of it. I signed Fallen Rex in the season after the famous 1978, uh, the great season. But this is matching it, and I feel like I'm experiencing what it must have been like. We clinched that with a 7-1 win over Rotherham as a long-range shot from Ennis and it's poured away by Okonkwo, headed back harmlessly. And Okonkwo makes a bit of a drama of catching it. Um, yeah, I'm quite uh, emotional already. Uh, you know, I mean, honestly, we have been... You know, Through that 7-1 win guys. against Rotherham you know. uh, mm. must have been amazing. And I was there, you know, the season after I was watching Wrexham. This is... This has just felt so much like it. Yeah, but to Wonderful go, this. To go through the mill like we have the mark and yeah, come out yeah. the other end. Absolutely. And two back to back tomorrow promotions and we've got to thank, mm. as you say, our lovely owners for doing that. Yo, and, God, and this yeah. team. Absolutely. This Lee is clattered in the middle of the pitch. Ref doesn't give the foul. Yeah, he he may have to stop play though. Yeah. Forest Green player trying to get him off. It's knocked down the right hand side. Forest Green looking to come forwards. Maddox pulls it backwards. Lee is slowly getting up. He's okay. The ball squared by Thompson. Will there be a shot from the edge of the area? No, because of hard work in the middle of the on the edge of the box. By I think you thought it was Marriott then for a second. It was Marriott. He's covered in for Lee. Well done, Marriott. Ball floated in poorly and headed the way comfortably to O'Connor. Davis hooks it over his shoulder. And it's cleared back in. Davis wins a good header. Now, here's Lee. I'm sorry, but I want us to get a seventh. 
I wanted to feel like that Rotherham game. Ooh, it's a hard tackle in midfield again was, yeah. on Davis this time. Referee's okay with it. The ball is worked forwards. McCann has space to run into. The fans are massed on the sides of the pitches. The ball swept into the box. O'Connell heads it wide. Away from danger. Bolton can't keep that end. Throw in. The fans are just a little too close to the they pitch. Are, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're on the edge I of the box, kicking it they, away. Yeah, you know, the referee allowed us to carry on at the moment. Mm. <laughs> we've had six minutes added, and we've played nearly four of those. Mm. Long throw in towards the near post, headed away comfortably by Evans. Lovely touch by Fletcher. Marriott surging forwards, his touch just too strong, and this does well to intercept. And now here's McCann squaring it. Mm. I guess those fans put themselves in danger as well from a hard shot as well. Be a pretty bad shot. Oh, I see they're behind the goal as well now. Fair enough. Here's McAllister edge at the Wrexham area. Wrexham back defending. Long range shot comes in. Good save by Quanquo. And he, O'Connell gets the rebound. Flag was up anyway for the rebound. The first shot would have been a, a goal if Quanquo had made a very sharp save low to his right. Yeah. Shows he's still concentrating. That was a really good stop to be Well, fair. exactly. And after last Tuesday when his defence switched off mm. and uh, he lost a, a clean sheet he was always going to be determined and, and switched on I think wasn't he mm. a conco to take the goal kick then plays it short to McLean we've got a minute of added time left and then the party can begin McLean long Marius challenging in the air hasn't got much chance there and now a breakaway chance for Forest Green, perhaps. Davis fouls his man. Free kick in midfield. He didn't need to do that, did he at all, really? But there we go. No, you know, it's like I'm saying about Phil Parkson, you want to keep professional. As there is the fire whistle! The fans were on the pitch. Wrexham win. And surely, as Ollie Palmer runs on the pitch as well and jumps onto the kids, some kids in the crowd. Surely, as we wait for confirmation, we are up. Yeah. Unbelievable from Wrexham. How on earth have we achieved this? I mean, what a remarkable, remarkable three years. We nearly got promoted. We won the National League with the most points any team has ever managed in the top six divisions of English football. And now, promotion again. Guys, that's yeah, something else, isn't it? It is marvellous to watch. All the years I've been watching Wrexham and all the various places have been. You know, that 2004 season where administration was announced and disasters. I never thought I'd see this again. Yeah. I mean, last season's promotion was special. It was really special because it took us so long to get out of that league but you know to, to achieve it two seasons on the trot that's yeah. it's phenomenal you know I'm, I'm I'm choked because you know this club means so much to us doesn't it yeah absolutely absolutely and and I mean just thinking for you Neil as well I mean all the, the work you did in the dark days the commuting from Cornwall mm. you know it's fans who've made that sort of commitment as as yeah. I see it you know, the, that it means so much to it, oh definitely so you know I mean I wasn't the only one there was a lot of fans out there who you know went out of the way to save this club and secure the future of this club um, and we all did our bit um, and that's what this makes it so much more special you know with with our owners we couldn't ask for better owners and yeah. we, we've got the best fans in the world Che uh, are there me. words for this uh. It, it, it's it's the old fans it's the new fans it's for everyone from the town everyone is associated with the club worldwide now this is special we've got a really special community here back to back promotions you probably one of the best Wrexham sides ever this is special yeah. this is special oh, yeah. drink it in enjoy yourselves tonight Wrexham fans because you don't see back to back promotions very often well, we've never seen a back-to-back -back promotion. This is the first in our history, and we go back quite a way. Clubs in general, it's very, it's very rare, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. special. Absolutely so. In the middle of all that crowd, Mullen is at the front, standing up and celebrating <laughs> with the fans. And in the middle of it, facing him, is Ryan Barnett, sitting on the fans' <laughs> shoulders. He's loving it too. 
we got a Welsh flag, we got an Irish flag. Fans from around the world have paid their part in this. Wrexham Football Club, wow. What a time to be alive, eh? Yeah, this is to see it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. And we've seen such a show today as well. We've yeah. got earned promotion in the grand manner. 6-0 against Forest Green. Roy Who Cuffins. couldn't go? What's that? Roy Cuffins there. Mm. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> nice one. Brilliant. Yeah, look at, we all look out for familiar faces. Mm. As the fans fill the pitch, celebrating. Just, just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And now we get to have a two-game hot party, like you said. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a real treat, isn't it? Just to really enjoy football, really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to enjoy football now. Mm. I've got to be honest. I could, I could get into this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two. Well, this is in less than 12 months to see the same thing yet again. You know, on the pitch, and with such a comprehensive performance, mm. you know, and, and six goals. Yeah. It's just remarkable, isn't it? Absolutely remarkable. What this club has done. What Robin Reiner brought to this club, I mean, it's amazing. And I think back, you know, Andy was talking about the bleak times and, you know, when we entered into administration, which was 20 years ago. Uh, I was, th at the point I always think back to, I remember sitting in a hotel room, listening to us getting beaten at Peterborough and the two men sent off and thinking, yeah. we're finished as a club here. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're absolutely finished. At the lowest, yeah, yeah. And now... And then the ultimatum when we... You know, when we had to fork out £100,000, yeah, the fans yeah. raised that. Yeah, I mean, well, we have got such wonderful fans of this football club. Unfortunately, we've lost a few of them over the yeah. you know, the last few, few years, but we've got some great fans of this football club. And I think that's why the Americans have taken to us when they come to yeah. this town, yeah. this city. We take them in our arms as well and welcome them. And, you know, every American you speak to that come here, they, they love the place as well. And you can't yeah. not love Wrexham. I think we probably have sent Forest Green down, but yeah, that's that's football. You know the rules when you start. Very true, very true. Can't help have sympathy for them, but mm. yeah, you got to enjoy these times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. As uh, an Andy Cannon look-alike walks <laughs> in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, brilliant. Wrexham. Probably a good day to open a bar in Wrexham, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, I suspect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There'll be a few bars and pubs in Wrexham will be very happy tonight. Yeah. The Wrexham fans are, like I said, waiting on the pitch. I don't think this is going to happen today, guys. Well, we, there can't be a, pit, a trophy presentation because no, no. there is no trophy. No. Um, the plan, as I understood it, was to clear the pitch and then have the players come around and there to be like a champagne opening in front of the dugout. Um, but if the, if the players, if the fans don't leave, I guess the emergency move could be the old traditional thing if they come out on the front of the director's box yeah. to, to yeah, wave yeah. to the fans. Maybe so, yeah. <laughs> but this has been, I mean... O'Connell's still not off the pitch yet, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's got to be said, the way that we have finished Bill this there, season celebrating. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic oh yeah there's Bill nice one mm. hey they're very happy is that your mum there Che? yes it certainly is she's going nuts and quite rightly Wrexham, Wrexham, <laughs> brilliant Wrexham. yeah Wrexham have got promoted with two games to spare as well and I really want to emphasize that yeah that's a hell of an achievement to jump up and uh, we'll do it with two matches to spare we can enjoy that now we can uh, we can punish crew and then we can win the title against Stockport why not eh? yeah, yeah. why not why not one can yeah. dream yeah. I think it's a big ass to form Stockport to win uh, one can dream one can expect yeah. pal <laughs> <laughs> oh these scenes eh? these scenes are brilliant there's a uh, Kenny from South Park <laughs> been hoisted above <laughs> some of these heads he's gone down back again now you can catch a glimpse of him Oh my goodness! I mean, the, the, the level of achievement, the quality of play in this run-in as well. Mm. You know, we brought in quality players, and you know, some people have been concerned, or we've been concerned at times about sort of patchy form, especially away from home. 
um, there was a point around February where we lost five in a row and, and I think lost a bit of confidence for a time yeah. but the fact is that these are quality players and these are experienced players and so they just stepped up and when the going got tough and all the teams at the top are dropping points we put our foot down on the accelerator and that's why I'm not joking I think we'll win the title on the last day if it'd you don't, I don't mind but it'd be brilliant to see it lifted here but uh but the way that the players have responded to this the way that the the manager has handled things and built things up so that you know we've, we've built to this crescendo absolutely outstanding the work of the backroom staff as well because what rob and ryan can definitely influence is the quality of, of backup staff coaching staff keeping people fit helping with preparation you see the fitness levels um, as Aiden B Island pointed out quite rightly um, is phenomenal in this team we kept going to the end of the season we keep going deep into games we have an announcement now let's see what this is I don't know if you can hear that. They're basically asking to clear the pitch. Now. Ah, right. So they're going to look to stick to the mm. original plan. And the play fans are starting to make their way mm. slowly most, away. I think most are drifting off as well. Yeah. Wow. What a day. Eh? What a day. Mm. We're happy with that. <laughs> Goodness me. You know, when you, when you think back as well, I mean... We had a little wobble, but our home record, again, is outrageously good. Mm. Stoke Kairas in League One next year is going to be somewhere you don't want to go, mm. isn't it? It's intimidating yeah. to come here. And I think there will be changes in the summer, but oh, I think yeah. we'll come out a very strong team. Oh, gosh, yeah, oh, absolutely. This this is a special era for Wrexham, though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> two, you know, two promotions back-to-back. -back. It's just spe This is special. The club yeah. is one of the most unique special clubs in the whole world at this moment in time mm. and we're a part of it everyone's a part of it no matter yeah. where you're from and it's just it, it, oh, I am lost for words to your mum's still going nuts again. down there Jay yeah she is <laughs> she is and again I wholeheartedly endorse her yeah rightly oh, wow. so well a lot of players a lot of fans are drifting away but there's a there's a hell of a lot still here yeah. so exactly what will happen I don't know but oh, there's the match stats they'll be revealing. Forest Green got four shots in the end. God bless them. We had 21. Wow! It just shows how we eased off at the end. That they actually ended up with 45% possession. Seriously. But that's because the last 20 minutes. I mean, I'm slightly surprised by that. But the last 20 minutes, we were happy to step off and let them have the ball, weren't we? I'm very surprised at that, to be honest. Very surprised. But I mean, a, a great performance by Wrexham. Yeah. Got that. Yeah opening goal Lee doing so well to stretch in the goal mouth and prod the ball home and that just got the party started didn't it by that point when yeah. it was 1-0 uh, you know I, I, I said don't don't tempt fate but it did feel a bit up one didn't it <laughs> yeah it certainly did I think it took the tension out of the game you know once you scored yeah. the first goal I think it was Che who said was it that we um, as we on the stream get that very satisfying sight of us in second place and we're eight points clear now of Milton Keynes in fourth. You can't catch us. Two games left. Happy days. Wow. Uh, yeah, Breathtaking. It, it has been remarkable, hasn't it? Absolutely remarkable. You know, and you look at players who've made... So many players made such big contributions. You think of Arthur Oconco, who now yeah. we can offer a contract in League One to if you see what I mean but you know he's such a cool head yeah for such a young age he's, he's such a promising talent it, oh it, you could go through everyone in the squad this season they've all played their part and all yeah. been excellent at times and especially the last two games they've both you yeah. know, every player on that pitch has been absolutely superb incredible but what I'm saying is that we've now got better leverage to offer him a contract because yeah, oh, he'll too, play in League yeah, One yeah, now they, they too yeah Hey, as do we get another bus tour? As long as we have to pay for a fee for him. <laughs> well, we don't. He's out of contract, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. So in the summer, though, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we get another open top bus tour? That'd be cool. Hopefully, I'll, I'd, I'd accept that. And I believe maybe the players might be going abroad. Yes, again. Yes, they are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I need to celebrate. Right. Well, uh, I don't want to. 
I, I don't want to commit the boss's money. No, do I? no, no, do I? Oh. Right, Rob. Sorry, Jay, I can't, I can't. Rob McElhenney's an out, um, an XN. Hey, uh, go on, oh, you read I, it, Matt. I, 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 I can't read it. My contact lens aren't working. <laughs> he says, "Hey, Matt Griffiths, notice you're reading." Tweet. My son and I just wanted to say hi from Los Angeles. Quite lovely day, huh? Yeah, yeah, not a bad day, Rob. Thank you for that. And hello, Axel. Uh, that is that is absolutely superb. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I, I will say, Rob, we feel you've done a pretty good job here. Oh yeah, that, yeah that's yeah, our no, considered yeah. opinion. Yeah, we'll give him another year here. Yeah, yeah. Get, yeah, get yourself some four walls down here tonight, mate. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be doing the yes. exact same thing. Yeah, you've earned it. You live it as much as we do. Yeah, nice one. And um, also, if you know, if you ever want someone to play like Danny DeVito's dad, I, I'll do it. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it for cash. <laughs> <laughs> cash in hand. Cash, yeah, cash in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell the tax man. The IRS just don't need to know. That is oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But the fans are thinning out now. And like I said, the plan is to have a presentation in front of the dugout. But, wow. I mean, I, I, I know I'm boring and old, but, you know, I'm, my mind goes to watching Wrexham when I was a kid against Hartlepool in a freezing cold Tuesday night and there were less than a thousand people Halifax there. Halifax yeah. was even yeah. the same. Still on the cop on a freezing wet yeah. February night. Uh, you know, it, it, and then you look at this. Yeah. And then you look at those years in the National League and I, I've been really, last couple of years, sincerely asking myself if Robin Red... Ha Robin Red... Robin Ryan hadn't come in would we how much longer would we have been in the National League because I always used to think we are a big club in in that context and ultimately we will get out but you know looking back at it you start to wonder how, how much longer would we have been there yeah I totally agree yeah, with you yeah. Mark we could have been you know there for many many a season and just survived as a as a fan owned club but we, we've always had the potential haven't we oh, we yeah. always oh, look yeah. at this we've always had the oh. potential we, you know we we cover half a country yeah the fan base uh, yeah, is the, there the fan base there look. we cover half the world world yeah we cover half the world now yeah <laughs> which is beyond <laughs> our wildest dreams but yeah it's just amazing that Rob and Ryan have seen the potential mm. in the town and us and the people and you know we just need to double the size of the stadium now don't we That's yeah we, <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll be a simple operation job for yeah. them yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, the, another thing I'd like to raise that you guys have, have quite rightly made uh, uh, you know, uh, very clear is that teams raise themselves to play us we've had all season yeah. to face sides that are really seeing us as their, their big match of the season we consistently our away games teams sell out and have the biggest crowd of the season obviously um, it's astonishing that we've also had to take that on if you will yeah. and play against sides who are so motivated and hyped up to play us and a, a lot higher quality than the National League level you yeah. know what I mean that you, you can't make mistakes this level and next season is going to be even tougher but I, I really do trust this group of lads I trust the manager and it's, I, I have a feeling next season is going to be a lot of fun I think it's going to be a lot of fun too yeah as you, as you said um, go on Mark what are you going to say you're going to uh, I wasn't going to say anything ah, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, I just look keen <laughs> you always look keen hey. but no I mean you were saying you know every club that we've gone to away has had their record attendance when Wrexham had turned up you know um, and they've always sold most of them have sold out which is you know it's it shows the draw of Wrexham Football Club and you know next season is going to be even bigger when we go to possibly the likes of Birmingham and places like that if they get yeah. ready. Oh, Chase keen to go to Birmingham aren't you? Yeah Birmingham will be will be a very you know it's just to be able to be in the same level as you know Derby County potentially Birmingham Rotherham these big big sides week in week out it's Black going to be special on Bank Holiday Monday Black Bank Holiday, Bank Holiday Monday wouldn't be bad at all would it superb, that would be a lot of fun that would you know you know Shrewsbury next season who? who? yeah Tractor <laughs> Boys you mean yeah. <laughs> you know it's it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait yeah I think a bit about Shrewsbury there is a manager that left us to go to Shrewsbury yeah. and I'm just I'm just pleased we are a big club in Shrewsbury you'll see us next season Sam Ricketts eh? you, you, you're not letting that go good lad uh, there will be some sort of presentation like I say as I understand it it's going to be like a champagne presentation in front of the dugouts they've, been, they've put barriers up I mean I've got to be honest 
they made a string so I reckon if someone wanted the perfect to get through they're probably good mm. but they put barriers up and there will be a celebration the cameras are down there mm. I think the sign says it all coming on the pitch oh yeah what's it say promoters yes 2024 <laughs> you're not wrong there mate there it is yeah, yeah. I've not got bad. many words but <laughs> that one will do nicely yeah that's, that's a good one so we can put we can add P to our Twitter names and social media <laughs> names now, can't we? Yeah. yeah? It'll be Proovy Slippers now. I don't know what that means. Mm. I hope Bo's okay. Whatever or whoever he is. <laughs> They're putting the promoted thing on the centre spot. Um, but the, the the barriers in front of the dugout, I think, are yeah. purely for yeah. the photographers, I guess. Mm. So, yeah, it's still a decent amount of people all waiting all their phones yeah. ready <laughs> to capture their own little special memory of this and then the row in front of us is a little baby asleep on his mum's knee yeah oh cute I was going to turn the camera and I thought I better have not done it a bit, bit weird see Fleur Robinson on the sides of the pitch and this club like I said has been sure footed with the appointments off the pitch but wow the noise the fans are making right here we go I think let's get ready to enjoy this and out well first come to Wrexham to welcome, welcome to Wrexham cameras I think we're about to get going here oh man what a noise eh And silence with the Wrexham national anthem. <laughs> yeah. um. it's, it's like uh, do, commentating on uh, coronation for the BBC. This, yeah. isn't it? Just waiting for something to happen. Yes. And now we see uh, Dame Amy Davis in her <laughs> fetching purple high vis jacket. Yeah. Um, by they're Givenchy. laying out the flags nicely by the promoted sign. <laughs> yeah, let's drag them back out and get them to do a guard of honour. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Get off that coach. Mm. Never mind you've got a five-hour journey. And here come the heroes. Led out by Paul Mullen. Mark Howard don't forget the role he played this season mm. at the start of the season yeah he was outstanding he was Mullen two more goals today brilliant what a scene and there's already dad dancing going on the, yeah. the crucial factor of a promotion let's not forget players like Aaron Hayden who yeah was cursed by injury but did ever so well Max Kluwerth who has grown so much mm. Bolton and Marriott who arrived in the transfer window mm. and have made a real contribution Marriott getting his first goal for Wrexham how brilliant was that and still they come Palmer a man who knows how to make the most of these sort of situations Last seen last season, of course, in the back of uh, the boot of a car going through Wrexham. <laughs> George Evans, what a signing George Evans was. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Class. what a quality player. That's one thing Parkinson has got right, is the players. You can have oh, yeah. the money, but getting these players in and getting them here, that's uh, made the big difference. 100% correct. 100% correct. And there's the champagne! Wrexham have done it again! Amazing! What a scene! You know what? The amount of champagne getting spilled in that centre circle in the last year, Chally must be going nuts! <laughs> we had the women's team last year, we had the men's team last year, we've done it now. When we beat Stockport and win the league, we'll do it again in a fortnight. Oh my word! What an achievement! Elliot Lee 
He scored more goals this season than any other season in his career. James McLean. What a man to bring in to push that promotion forwards. Yeah, you know, an experienced head, you know, mm. you know, his engine, everything, he's brought the charisma yeah. to, to Wrexham. What a signing he's been. Ryan Barnett. Yeah. When the yeah. when the going got tough, he scored two goals. One with his nose and one a screamer. And here they are now making a lap of honour for their adoring fans they come to us first in the Wrexham Lager stand what a team this is what wonderful times they give us and what a time to be a Wrexham fan listen to that crowd absolutely magnificent Tom O'Connor, who has been outstanding at the back. Owen O'Connell. Yeah. Those players out there, they've done us proud. They have absolutely done us proud as they head towards the temporary cop. Wasn't it brilliant to get those extra seats in? Yeah, for fans to see it and watch it all. Yeah, exactly. More people are able to share that. Well, chaps, it's been a pleasure watching this season with you from here. Mm. Um, as I say, I've got two young kids, so I'm going <laughs> to have to make a dash because I know my wife's part-timer. Uh, so it's been brilliant to watch. <laughs> Fabulous. Brilliant. As the, the families come running on the pitch now as well. Oh, what special memories for their kids. Isn't that fantastic? You know, Luke Young as well, he's been such a well, important yeah, part of yeah. our club for years now. It's so amazing for him to get back to back from those exactly yeah. what he's earned. A Wrexham legend, for sure. Still the club captain. You know, I mean, a guy who has embodied the club for so long and all that's good about it. Well, a, a legend. Yeah, 100% yeah, correct. Yeah. I think there's a few on that pitch that could be classed as Wrexham legend. Gosh, yes. Sorry guys, who yeah. were you talking about then? I wasn't listening. Luke Young. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I would like to see him come. I know he's near the end of his career as like a midfielding coach or a coaching mm. position within the club. He's got a few more years in him. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget. That <laughs> James McLean just playing football with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> he just can't stop playing. That's brilliant, down it. Such enthusiasm. It's nice they've all got their wives and their kids on the pitch with them as well. Yeah. A couple of other people that should be mentioned as well. Ben Toza. Yeah. Of course, I mean, yeah. Toza has done really well this season and he has borne with good grace the fact that O'Connell has taken that role yeah. in the centre of the defence. The depth in this squad is tremendous, oh, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. It's and then also Will Boyle. Yeah, who yeah. came in with a huge yeah, did. stint, didn't he? Just when he was needed. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Will Boyle for me has got to be one of the most impressive players we've had this season because he did have a rough start. Let's not beat around yeah. the bush. He did, and it shows a lot of character to turn around and mm. drill out some of the performances he has. He's had. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the Wrexham fans still making such noise. They're in front of the Stoke Cold Brew Coffee stand now. He put in a few caffeinated finishes in front of that goal, haven't we? Yeah, he did, yeah. And they now make their way towards us again. But what a wonderful occasion, what a wonderful day. Oh, we, you know, it'll happen again next Saturday, a crew, you know, there'll be a party oh, atmosphere. That'll be a hot ticket. We, then we've got oh, a will. huge game here then against Stockport, the yeah. final game of the season. Yeah, it turns out it's Stockport, not North County, who are our big rivals in a way isn't it yeah, yeah. rising with us season. yeah yeah yes Mullen, Mullen gives his customary salute to the Wrexham fans after another great day there have been so many here oh what a privilege it is um, yeah and, and all the you know the international fans who've come to this game and yeah. I know there's a number of them one experience for them yeah oh you know, gosh the, yeah you know after this today yeah they'll be totally hooked 
Oh, totally mate. hook, line, and sinker. I, I think if you've come from a different yeah. continent to watch this, you're probably already hooked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, wow, yeah, exactly. What an experience. Yeah, but they, they don't experience you know, mm. anything like this, really, as in back home in the States. And I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Oh, isn't it just? Listen to this. The Conquo drinking in the song. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, he's talking about people who work hard without getting the attention and someone who would never look for the attention either. But I'm just looking down uh, by the tunnel and see Geraint Parry there. And I mean, that guy, oh, he is the best of the best. He's Mr. X yeah. FC, uh, he? yeah. I mean, he, he'd never, he, he would do anything for the club. He has yeah. done for decades, and I'm just so glad he is, it, can, is able to be part of this and enjoy it. Yeah, and he should be. You know, he's, he's a long, one long-standing person yeah. who's been at this club for as long as I can remember, Mark. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And as I say, he's a, he's a good racing driver as well, so you tell me. So again? He's a good racing driver as well, oh, so he's, you tell he's me. brilliant. He'll get you to <laughs> Gillingham in a couple of hours. Brilliant. <laughs> Steve Parkin, let's not forget him and the rest yeah. of the coaching staff. I've been brilliant. I mean, he's an experienced manager. Never mind assistant. And he's done his part. Oh my word! The what, what a day! As well, who've attended this, you know. That's how I. Say again. The kids have attended yeah, this as well, yeah. you know. That's how I got hooked in my first game as a child, coming to a Wrexham game, and you just love it. Yeah, same yeah. here. When I, my first season was the 0203 season, I've been hooked since. Yeah. These kids. The, the new generation of Wrexham fans, yeah. the, they, it's going to be tremendous for them, isn't it? Yeah, and the supporter base is just expanding all the time. And we, I was talking to somebody this morning back in Whitchurch, and they're saying, you know, we should really start a, a, a Whitchurch supporters group, even though we're in the Shropshire one, because there's so many Wrexham fans in Whitchurch, and that's growing all the time. Well, I've enjoyed you giving the updates on that and how Wrexham have started to overtake Shrewsbury in oh, Whitchurch a, yeah. mile. a town that's sort of in between and, and yeah I love that from Whitchurch to West Virginia we are everywhere we are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tell you what US tour this summer summer after tour of Whitchurch hey yeah <laughs> there may be just one team we could play in Whitchurch maybe and that's well, about it there must be some school teams we can warm up to <laughs> there's James McLean there oh Luke Young oh man it's fantastic, isn't it? And Max Clueth, we've got a, you know, Max Clueth has come on leaps and bounds yeah. since he was called on. Were they just pushing him in front yeah, of the fans was. again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because he's such a shy guy. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, well. And he's just come on such a long way. He was called on to come in and, and he's very, very rarely put a foot wrong. And for him to score that winning goal at uh, Colchester last weekend was, oh, yeah. was just yeah. the icing on the cake for him and the pinnacle for him. And he's still a young lad, you know, he's what, mm. 20, 21. And he's got a huge career ahead of him and he's he's not a local lad, but he's come up through the academy here at Wrexham, yeah. I believe. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, fairly local as well, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah, but um, but yeah, I mean, the way that he has performed at the end of the season, to be fair, in each of the last two seasons as well, he's come into the team in the second half of the season and done really well but now that yeah. development and that experience well I mean he, he just look he's fantastic isn't yeah, he yeah and he's got all those players around him to help yeah. him with that you know and that's developed him and he's you know and I think that's you know we see we see them a number of times here where the opposition try and target him but he's such a good quality player yeah and, and that goal you mentioned against at Colchester uh, that's set up this week hasn't it you know if it's a draw then we've still got a lot to do we've got promoted now but that's set up so much yeah fantastic uh, there's Will Boyle Elliot Lee yeah. scored so many goals of course as you say there's so many yeah. great players have been kept out of this team yeah. because of our you know the quality that's out there yeah and then as well to see in there Callum McFadgen who only made one substitute appearance in the league but it's got to be said I mean the guy wasn't registered and he's taken it with good grace and again has continued to be a good professional and was there when we needed him yeah exactly just great professionalism all for the squad you know seems to be a really good environment that Phil Parkinson's created and yeah, yeah. yeah just such a core base yeah, the attitude amongst the players, I think, you know, they, they all love each other. You can see the camaraderie there between them all. There's no animosity, you know, they, they play as a team and you can see that today. You saw it on Tuesday. 
yeah. you know, and that's all down to Phil Parkinson and the personalities that you brought into the club has <laughs> just added to that the Irish players there w- waving the trickler and posing and Paddy Malcolm Wrexham's main man on the ground managed to get himself in there as well yeah brilliant um, Anthony Ford as well who sadly picked up an injury but the quality he gave us in that first half of the season another player you know we shouldn't forget the role he's played yeah of course there's yeah. so many of them isn't yeah, there yeah. is there yeah kids doing yeah. cartwheels in the goal mouth half our team we played last season and now on the bench you know yeah amazing isn't it really yeah. you think of the standards that they set yeah and also although they were released players like McAlinden and Hosanna who certainly played their part and, and played their part this season at times too you yeah. know there's been a real like you said Parkinson doesn't tend to have misses in, in the transfer market does he you know he brings in good players isn't he, with good mentality mm. and who are obviously good lads who you know they're such a together bunch there isn't yeah. they this is why for me this, this squad has got to be up there pound for pound one of the best Wrexham sides ever oh gosh yeah I, absolutely I, I, it, it's got to be second best at, at least mm. in my opinion that feels like a podcast that oh yes that does <laughs> feel like a podcast I'll teeth into that with our uh, Wrexham manager Mount Rushmore as well that we oh can yeah yeah the, um, as well a, a player we should mention that we haven't yet is Sam Dolby now Dolby yeah has got one of the best assist to minute ratios in the division and I think some people have not appreciated him so much second half of the season I think that's very unfair I think he's he, when you think about how he tore Mansfield about in the FA Cup for example yeah. uh, he's made a lot of good interventions he hasn't got as many goals as last year except that but it's a higher level he's still, he's still young, young. Yeah, he's still a young player yeah. isn't he? there's a lot of potential there and, and a couple of recent games he's come on and he's made an impact as well yeah, yeah. So I, uh, you know, a lot of respects to him. Uh, no, I, I, he's most definitely played his part. Oh, there's poor Mendy there hobbling <laughs> on his crutches. Look, oh Mendy, yeah. yeah well, there you go, Mendy. Mendy. I'm singing the Mendy song and he's loving it. And, and so should oh, he's, yeah. he's played such an important role as well. Absolutely, yeah. There he is in his crutches. Bless him. Speedy recovery for him. We need him next season. Hundred percent. Absolutely agree with that. Oh man. Jordan Davis there, of course, part of the yeah. celebration. It was good to have him on the pitch when promotion was secured. It feels appropriate to me. It does. It's great to see local local players involved. Yeah. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. And this club, this club just keeps going on and delighting us. Sometimes surprising us. But it's an amazing journey. And we're all so lucky to be part of it. We are, I keep saying, you know, week in, week out, we are very privileged what we do mm. here at Wrexham. Oh yeah, yeah, incredible. Oh, the players, looks like they may be starting to make their way off perhaps as, well having said that, some may have to go off because of the urine test of course, there will be a couple of randomly chosen players. Of course, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's true. Fabulous, this. It's Absolutely nice fabulous. See all those, their kids having a game of football, you know, on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they're having a great old time, aren't they, those guys? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> but where's the goal you're aiming towards? Just playing football for the fun of it. And that's how it should be. Brilliant. And the die-hard fans here, you know, what stories they must be able to tell. <laughs> We've all been through so many differing experiences but this town has been energized by this football club by this football club's ownership and we can celebrate yeah but it's a ripple effect to the surrounding areas as well it's had the same effect on the surrounding areas Mm. across north wales i mean there was a a lady on the radio this morning from adelaus with who are huge fans you know and you know that that's a catching day we've got really from newtown across to adelaus and the whole of north wales so there's a yeah such a massive catchment area out there for Wrexham fans and it's growing all the time and it, you know next year this year's been in Canberra for tickets next year's even going to be more difficult goodness me yeah these will be some nice big away ends we can go to Phil Parkson getting interviewed that's what the round of applause was for as he gets interviewed in front of the dugouts but yeah yeah I'm sure Sky may have had a report here today just in case we did get promoted today which is what we've, what's happened 
yeah yeah exactly so it's been emotional and still those kids play. go on some finish oh and a tackle that was you see that in front of the goal it's in oh <laughs> great work they all look about the same age fair play to them don't they they do don't they future yeah, action yeah. players guys oh there's a thought <laughs> And while we carry on to win the title, of course, the women's team have had a magnificent season and they've got a Welsh Cup final coming up. Yeah. Oh, we've got a replay now of that tackle, I think, have we? No, this oh, look at that. Oh, a challenge, great challenge that was. That is a proper dead embrace tackle, that is. <laughs> yeah, the women's team have got the Welsh Cup final coming up as well. Yeah. And that's massive. I mean, goodness me, if we could win that, that would be a hell of an achievement. They've done so well. There's so many Wrexham fans in that team who will be yeah. who have been here today as well and will be as happy as anyone about it. And if they could put the cherry on the top, wow, fantastic. What a club, what a vibrant club. Oh, of course. Oh, look, look at that, seeing the, the, the players there singing with the Wrexham fans, clapping with them. Look, oh, yeah. What a sight. Fantastic, that, isn't it? We are Wrexham. Now we're going to win the league! <laughs> They deserve it, the players there, don't they? You know? Oh gosh, the hard work they put in. Oh, yeah. The yeah. stick that all professional footballers get they when do, something goes slightly like wrong. Yeah, you, you, you know. See, you see the stick they had after yeah. the Doncaster game, you know, and fans are fickle, aren't they? Very fickle. But to be fair, I, I mean, I've, I've often felt bothered that Wrexham fans were fickle, but since the takeover, the fans are even more fickle. Have, 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 no, they haven't. They've, they've been remarkably um, solid and. and keeping in their belief number of times you had the bad start to a game and they've got behind them you know the Wrexham fans I think have also I think appreciated what they got and have, and have risen to the fact that we're, they're supporting a special club and so they want to do it that Todd does this no it's brilliant absolutely brilliant so definitely two weeks today there'll be another big celebration this is oh, the last yeah, yeah, of yeah. the season 100% oh. Well, Mullins making his way in now, it looks like. And it may be that things start to peter out, but what an amazing journey we've had. I've got to say as well, I just want to say that the, we, as we said earlier, are so lucky to be part of this. And our depth of involvement is massively enhanced by the Ask Wrexham community and the way that fans interact with us while we're commentating and outside games and I think that's a lovely embodiment that of all the positives about this takeover that everybody yeah. pulls together and there's a lovely as the players are now coming in a lovely shared sense of community and that's exactly what the owners wanted and yeah it's, it's an honour to interact with such good people of course yeah it's, it's another amazing thing about about this club the Astor Black Sun has been amazing this season and yeah I, I'm looking forward to next season now we can relax and enjoy the football now yeah absolutely oh yeah definitely relax for yeah, the next two yeah. games it, um, I look forward to crew because this class is a lo another derby game so they're not that far away well for me anyway it's 20 minutes away this is about Cruz is about the closest coming to Wrexham so uh, yeah that's an early kick off next Saturday half past 12 isn't it so uh, you American listeners will be up early next, next weekend Oh gosh, yeah. Wow. Well, what a day it's been. What a wonderful day. An amazing day in our history. And I couldn't think of better people to share it with. Oh yeah. Cheers, Neil. Good friends. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We're all very lucky, I think, to to have this this opportunity in our lives. So few people get to experience this sort of thing. That's very true. It's been um, unbelievable. Yeah. And there's two more games, as you say, to go this season to enjoy. So. Uh, I we think I need to go celebrate. I think you should. Yes, absolutely so. And I've got to do my clip and Tavern also. Oh, that's right. Yeah, absolutely right. I might remember to post it this time. Well, I may have to scarper and well, celebrate somewhere. <laughs> I need to go and spend a penny before I do my finish off my clip and because, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's been a great day, guys. We're still on air, guys. En enjoyable. Stop talking about public urination. Enjoy <laughs> enjoyable afternoons football. Fabulous, yeah. Some great goals. I I mean I, I must I mean it's happened so quick, the Barney goal. That I can't wait to see the Barney goal again on the highlights because that was such such a wonderful, well taken goal. Absolutely, it was an absolute beauty, wasn't it? Yeah. So 
we'll uh, we'll sign off there I think because we're all getting a bit messy now aren't we <laughs> we need to we need to go and celebrate properly I we I do. hope you all enjoyed yourselves as much as we did yeah. with, with the final score of Wrexham 6 Forest Green Rovers nil. we are Mark Griffiths Che Long Neil Williams and Andy Parkinson who is now uh, halfway down the A5 if he's got out the car park if yeah that's true oh yeah from Wrexham AFC